Tired of poking holes in your flip-flop for your crochet projects? Then you've come to the right place. I'm Little John Yarns, and today we'll be creating these no-sew crochet flip-flops. Let's hop into the materials. In this tutorial, I'll give you three material options for this pattern. The one I'll be using is finger and weight yarn with a 2.25 millimeter hook. You may also use DK yarn with a 2.5 millimeter hook or worsted weight yarn with a three millimeter hook. I'll give you all the pictures of the options on the next scene. In the first picture, I used acrylic finger and weight yarn with a 2.25 hook. And as you can see, the stitches are spaced out and clearly visible. The second picture is done by my talented pattern tester, Gloria Graham. She used DK yarn, a Lion brand comfy cotton with a 2.25 millimeter hook. The third picture was provided by another tester, Tamika Goldston, who inspired this whole tutorial, and thank you. She used a worsted weight yarn and a three millimeter hook. I provide timestamps for this video for easy pattern navigation. All right, to start, I'm gonna use a color that matches the base of the shoe, so I'm gonna use white so it won't be too off-putting when um, the pattern's completed. I tied on my yarn to the very strap of my shoe, and we're gonna begin by placing 27 single crochets going across one side of your strap. To start, we're going to chain one. So take your hook, pull up your yarn, and chain one to start. Now let's begin our 27 single crochets. It can be a little bit difficult, but be patient and work through it. Single crochet. Single crochet. All right, you can pause your video here, continue placing your 27 single crochets all the way till you make it to your middle strap. Okay, I have my 27 stitches, and just to help me find my beginning and ending row, since I'm working with such a small um, yarn and hook, I like to mark my beginning and end of my row. All right, now we're just gonna do the same exact thing on the opposite side. See, we have the split of our uh, flip-flop. We're just going to work as um, 27 single crochets going across the other side. So I'll show you the first one. Your very first single crochet, and I'll show you one more. That is two. So pause your video here. Continue placing your 27 single crochets going up the opposite side of your flip-flop. We finished those 27 stitches and here's what it looks like so far. You can slide the stitches so it can fit evenly across your strap. The next part of this pattern is going to be dependent on how you fit into your um, flip-flop and the size of your foot. So what we're going to do, I want you to chain an odd number that it will take to go from here around your ankle back to the second strap. So yes, you will have to try on your shoe. For myself, I will chain 37. So that's an odd number. So chain the, I'm starting by the number. Try it on and see if that strap fits around your ankle because we're going to connect it to the other side where you have your stitch marker. So pause your video here and begin your chain. Like I said, for me personally, I'm going to chain 37. Okay, we finished our odd amount of stitches. You can try it on and make sure it fits around your ankle. All right, next, we're just going to slip stitch to join into that very first single crochet that we have the stitch marker in and make sure your chain is not twisted. So let's slip stitch to join. All right, so we made it on a slip stitch, and now we're just going to chain one. But if you're following my color sequence, I'm going to change colors to my second color. But we're not going to fasten off our work with the white yarn. We're just going to drop the yarn and just keep picking it up as we go with each row. Because who wants to um, sew in all those um, ends? So let's chain one with the new color. Pull the white to tighten your um, yarn. And we're going to turn our work. This will be the only time we turn our work because by turning our work, you're putting your stitches on the right side. Since we have our chain one, now we're just going to single crochet into that very same space. Single 
single crochet. And now we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Single crochet. This is very hard to hold this flip flop and the camera. Single crochet each stitch. Okay, I'm not going to have to show you all these. I'm sure you guys know exactly how to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So pause your crochet, uh, pause your video here and crochet in every single stitch all the way across. And I'll meet you back at the other side. We've made it back around and I'm going to put in the last very single crochet and we're going to change colors halfway through that single crochet. All right, to do that, we're going to go into that very last stitch, pull up a loop, and leave two loops on your hook and drop your old color. And we're going to pick up the color that we had before from the previous row and pull through. Now your color has changed. And like I said before, if you want to keep track of your rows, put a stitch marker in that very last stitch that you did so you know exactly where your row ends. All right, now we're going to slip stitch to join into that very first single crochet. And now we're going to chain four. One. Oops. Here we go. Two. My yarn's in the way. Three and four. All right, your chain four will count as a double crochet and a chain one. So next, we are going to skip one stitch and double crochet into the next chain one we're going to skip one stitch double crochet into the next and chain one that's going to be our pattern repeat all the way around so you're going to chain one, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next. All, wait, actually, all the way until you make it to your center, four stitches. So continue, <laughs> chain one, skip one, double crochet until you make it into your center, four stitches. That's one, two, three, four. So pause your video here. Okay, we've made it to our center, four stitches. So right here, it's not as hard to see. One, two, three, four. We're going to skip all of these and we're going to double crochet into that fifth stitch. So for this one, I already double crocheted and chain one. We're going to skip those four. One, two, three, four. And double crochet into that fifth stitch. And we're going to, oops, sorry. And we're going to start that pattern repeat all, the, all over again. So chain one. Skip one stitch, double crochet into the next. All right, so pause your video here. Continue that pattern sequence until you make it to the very end of your row. So double crochet, chain one, skip one. We've made it to the very end of the row. And as you can see, if it wasn't for my stitch marker, I wouldn't be able to tell that stitch was my very last stitch in my row. So... For our very last single crochet of this row, we're going to change colors. So I'm going to drop this white yarn and pick up our new yarn. And yarn over and pull through for that chain. Let me tighten that up. And at the end of this row, you should have an even number of stitches. Now we're going to slip stitch to join into the very top of your chain three stitch. One, two, three. Slip stitch to join, and now we're going to chain one. Let's single crochet back into that very same space right here. And remember that chain four counted as a double crochet and chain one, so this is a space we're going to have to single crochet into. Single crochet into the top of your double crochet. and single crochet into the chain one space. That is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around. Single crochet into the double crochet and single crochet into the chain one space. All the way around until you make it into your 
five stitches on the center part of your shoe. So this counts as one, two, three, four. Whoops, I counted wrong. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll stop when we get it to the centermost five stitches. So pause your video here. Okay, we made it to the centermost five stitches. So remember, we're counting our chain stitches also. So we're going to skip five. So we're going to skip one chain space, two double crochet, three chain space, four double crochet, five chain space. And we're going to pick up with this double crochet here. So let's skip those five and pick up on the top of the double crochet. And single crochet. We're going to continue the same pattern repeat, single crochet into the chain stitch and single crochet into the top of your double crochet. All the way across until you make it to the very end of your row. So pause your video here, continue placing single crochets in every single stitch. All right, we made it back around and we're about to switch colors in the last chain one space. So we'll start our single crochet and you'll leave two loops on your hook. And we're going to drop that yarn and I'm going to pull my white yarn forward and pull through those two loops on the hook to change colors. Let me tighten the colors off and let's slip this to join into that very first single crochet. If you're following along to the written pattern, right now we're on round number five. All right, what we're going to do, we're just going to repeat this row from the um, previous row before with the right you know, white yarn. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and we are going to skip one and double crochet into the next. and chain one. Skip one. Oh my, it's kind of fuzzy. There's one. And double crochet into the next. We're going to do that all the way around until you make it to your center four stitches. And just like before, we're going to skip our center four stitches. So pause your video here and I'll meet you when you make it to your center four. Okay, we've made it to the center four stitches. One, two, three, four, and we're just going to skip these four and double crochet into that fifth one. All right, I already did my chain one. So we're going to skip those four. One, whoops, one, two, three, four, double crochet into the fifth one. Chain one and continue that pattern sequence of chaining one, skip one, double crochet until you make it to the other side. So pause your video here. Here's what your shoe looks like so far. So we made it to the very end of the row and we're going to switch colors with the last um, chain stitch being with the new color. So chain one. I'll tighten that by pulling the uh, previous color and we're going to slip stitch to join into the top of your chain three stitch. Now chain one. We're going to single crochet into that very same stitch. And just like the previous row down below, we are going to single crochet into that chain one space and we're going to single crochet in every stitch around. So the chain one space and the double crochet. So we're going to continue that pattern sequence until you make it to your center five stitches and we'll skip those center five stitches and you'll continue placing your single crochets around. But just in case you forget, I'll meet you here and we'll work those um, skip single skip stitches together. So continue placing your single crochets. I hope I wasn't redundant. <laughs> Pause your video here. We've made it to the center five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip those and just single crochet into the top of that double crochet. It's the second one going up the opposite side. And single crochet into the chain one space. 
All right, we're going to repeat the normal um, pattern sequence of putting one single crochet in each stitch until you make it to this side. So pause your video here. We've made it to the very end of this row and we're going to switch colors as usual with the last single crochet. So yarn over and you'll have two loops on your hook. We're going to drop that old yarn and pick up the new yarn and pull through the two loops on your hook. Color changed. We pull that taunt and now we're just going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet. Alright, now we're about to start row 7, but before we do, I want you to place a stitch marker in an appropriate spot on your shoe. So we're going to turn our shoe the opposite way where the toe of your shoe is pointing to your left. And we're going to find where we first started placing single crochets onto our strap right here. So we're going to go up exactly in a vertical row. So here's your first single crochet. Here's your um, double crochet, double crochet. All right, so we see we're in a row right here. We're going to count three stitches over, including this one. One, two, three. So that's your third double crochet. Now the stitch marker is going to go in a single crochet that was placed in that double crochet. Hope that makes sense. Here's the double crochet, and here's the single crochet that was placed in it. That's where we're going to place our stitch marker. All right, so I'll show you one more time. Where we begin our um, single crochets, we're going to work our way up in a vertical line, which is here, and count three over, including this one. One, two, three, and place the stitch marker in a single crochet that's on that double crochet. Hope that makes sense. Alrighty. So let's get back to our yarn. Just like before, we're going to chain four. One, two, three. Four. Your chain four will count as a double crochet and a chain one. Now we're just going to skip one stitch, double crochet into the next. Easy as that, chain one. That is going to be our pattern sequence. Skip one stitch, double crochet into the next, chain one. All the way until you make it until this stitch marker. So pause your video here. Okay, I'm almost at my stitch marker. Let me remove that one. I already chained one. I'm going to skip a stitch and put a double crochet into that last stitch where I had the stitch marker. Next, we're just going to double crochet, not double crochet, we're going to chain 10 stitches loosely. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're going to skip 28 stitches. But to avoid counting, we're just going to count two double crochets over. You see the white double crochet? One, two, and find the single crochet above it. And that's where we're going to place our next double crochet. So let me find that again. Here's my double crochet, second double crochet, the single crochet above it, insert my hook and complete a double crochet. My yarn got stuck, go figure. But humbug, let me try again. Complete the double crochet. I'm still having trouble. There we go. All right, now chain one and finish the chain one, skip one space to the end. So skip one space, double crochet. And to chain one, we're going to switch colors to end off this row. Pick up your new color and chain one. Remember that chain one always counts as a stitch. Let's tighten up this row and slip stitch into the top of your chain three to join. Chain one single crochet into the very same space and single crochet into that chain one space right here and we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around just like we did with the previous rows so pause your video here continue placing one single crochet in each stitch including these 10 single crochets 
all the way around and you'll I'll meet you back at the other side. Oh, quick note, when I'm working the single crochets into this row, I'm actually working them into each individual stitch, not over top of the chain. All right, pause your video here and I'll meet you at the opposite side. We've made it back around and of course, we're gonna change colors on that very last single crochet. So single crochet into the last chain one space, two loops on your hook, drop the old yarn, pick up the new yarn and pull through the two loops on your hook and let's single slip stitch to join into that very first single crochet. For this row, we're just going to chain three, one, two, three, which will count as the double crochet. And we're going to double crochet in every single stitch. As easy as that. Go to the very next stitch, double crochet. Double crochet in every single stitch all the way around until you make it back to the other side. So pause your video here. We made it to the end of the row and as usual, we're going to switch colors on the very last, halfway through the last double crochet. So let's drop that white, pick up the new color and pull through those last two loops on a hook. And pull my yarn a little tight. Slip stitch in the top of your chain three stitch. One, two, three. And slip stitch. Chain one. We're going to single crochet into that very same stitch. And now we're going to single crochet in every stitch all the way around. So pause your video here. Continue placing one single crochet in every single stitch all the way around until you make it back to the other side. All right, we've made it to our last single crochet and as usual, we're gonna change colors halfway through that single crochet. So drop your old yarn, pick up your new yarn, pull through those two loops, let's tighten that stitch. And now we're just gonna slip stitch to join into that very first single crochet. I'm having trouble seeing it. There it is. And chain four. One, two, three, four. We all remember that counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And we're going to go into our usual. We're going to skip one skip, ah, skip one stitch, double crochet into the next. All right, we're going to continue that pattern sequence all the way around. So skip one stitch, double crochet into the next, oh, and don't forget to chain one in between. So pause your video here, and I'll meet you at the very end of this round. Okay, we've made it to the very end of the row, and I already uh, chained one. And you'll notice when we skip one, your last stitch will be right next to your double crochet. I mean, right next to your chain three stitch, which is okay. We're not going to chain one here. Whoops, I'm sorry. We were supposed to um, change colors in between. Let me get that one. Let me chain one and put that last double crochet in. Stop halfway through. Drop my white. And chain colors. Change colors. All right, so like I said, your double crochet will be right next to your chain three stitch. So we're going to slip stitch to join into the top of your chain three stitch. One, two, three. Chain one. Single crochet into the same space. And we're going to single crochet in every stitch around. Don't forget to single crochet into this chain one space right here. And the top of your double crochet. This is our very last row. So continue placing one single crochet in each and every stitch all the way around and I'll meet you back at the other side. We've made it to the other side and we'll put that last single crochet in together. We're not changing colors because that is the very last row. So let's slip this to join into that very first single crochet and you can fasten off your work. And make sure you cut off your um, yarn. And here's what it looks like so far. I'll give you a better uh, up-close look on the very next scene. 
If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other crochet flip-flops and sandals. Alright guys, I'll see you all on the very next pattern.